two teenagers charged this week in a Florida girl's suicide have focused the national spotlight on bullying. This week marks the second anniversary of a similar tragedy in the tri-state, the death of 13-year-old Sam Denham. Local 12's Tiffany Wilson spoke to Sam's parents who say he committed suicide after relentless teasing at Woodland Middle School in Taylor Mill. Just above the stairs in a typical independence home, you'll find a room ready for a teenage boy. Posters flank the bed and a coin collection clutters the nightstand. Nothing moves. Everything waits. It's as if time is standing still. It feels like it's been a week and then some days it feels like it's been a thousand years. Time change for Daryl and Carol Denham, October 14th, 2011. You know, the world's turned upside down. That was the day Sam committed suicide. When I found him, I mean, I, it was in our bedroom and I looked at the window thinking, who shot him? Their son was 13 years old, barely two months into his eighth grade year at Woodland Middle School. The Denims blame his death on intense bullying. And Sam was being pushed into lockers, constantly mocked, um, cussed out for no reasons, you know, slapped upside the head sometimes. Those stories and others, Sam's friends shared after. We didn't see it. The Denims want bullies to understand the impact of their actions. It's, it's not a game. It, it may seem fun that everybody's doing it, and, but it has a real consequence. An empty room a broken heart, consequences they hope to spare other families. We don't want to see parents going through this. Their advice for victims is simple, but takes strength. Talk to somebody about it. Don't let your parents know if you can't talk to your parents. Talk to an adult. Talk to somebody. Get something done about it. In Independence, Tiffany Wilson, Local 12 News. And according to a Bureau of Justice study, one out of every four children are bullied, and 85% of the time, no one steps in to help.